We are very excited about our next guest. We're talking about Deion Sanders. He's a pro football Hall of Famer. We all know that. Two-time Super Bowl champ and eight-time pro bowler. Those are his stats. But that's not the best thing about him. Sanders is entering his second season as a head football coach at the University of Colorado in Boulder. And Coach Prime is out with a new book. It's called Elevate and Dominate. I like that title. 21 Ways to Win on and Off the Field. The off the field, I think, is almost more important there than you the go. on the That's field. That's right. Yeah. Deion Sanders joins us now. We're very happy to see you here live you and in color, Coach. I love you, girl. I feel the <laughs> so same still. about That's, you. I love you so damn much. I feel much. the same yeah. about my you. brother. Yeah. I'm That's getting right. to know you. Right. I'm just a guy. I'm getting to know you. Now, my guy. Right. <laughs> Tony goes, I'm just a guy. But I love in the book, Dion, you said, your favorite book as a kid was The Little Engine That Could. I think I can. I, I think, I think I can. I think, and that seems to resonate in this book about yeah. you. Well, visualization, belief, commitment, understanding, been looked over, passed up, you know, not the focal point. I was 150 pounds coming out of high school. I wasn't him yet. Mm -hmm. I mm -hmm. thought I was, <laughs> but I, I thought I could. I thought I could, and I told my mother I was going to be rich one day. I was making a lot and, of money, and you were going to buy her house. Work again. But you go from I think I can, I think I can, to when people ask what cologne you're wearing, you said confidence. confidence. It's my natural odor. That's your natural odor, and do not let my confidence In offend a, your insecurity. insecurity. Mm. How many times we do that? Nate, you know how clean you are. Yeah, no How doubt. many times have your confidence offended someone's insecurity? It had nothing to do with you and how you acted, how you present yourself. Yeah. That's just who you then are. Then you start to dim your light a little bit. There you go. But you also, but Nate, he also talks about be humble and be, have humility. Those two themes, it those seems like seem they to don't be a contradiction. Because you would think, the insecure would think it's about me. When everything I've done in my life has been about uplifting and promoting mm. and presenting life to someone else. I want you, 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 I want you to win. Mm -hmm. Everything I do, I want you to win. You know why? Because I'm a winner. A winner wants others to win. Mm -hmm. A loser doesn't. So I love that, I love that. Um, mm -hmm. Let me follow up on that, because everybody has a Deion Sanders story. Yes. Here's mine. I'm starting at the NFL Network as a media talent after my career. I'm in Jacksonville covering the Jags. I wake up the next morning, I miss my flight back to LA. About a week later, I'm in LA, at the NFL Network, we're in the green room mm -hmm. where all the players and coaches congregate before we go on the show. Mm -hmm. We're sitting in there, Dion says, close the door. So we close the door, I'm thinking it's story time. <laughs> Dion's gonna tell us about the 90s and how he's balling out. He looks at me, he says, Nate, I heard you missed your flight. I said, yeah, man, I, I woke up a little late. Uh, it was a long day of work. He said, I don't wanna hear those excuses. Uh -huh. He said, you got talent. You can't do that, because if I heard about it, our boss has heard about, about it. it. He said, we can't afford to mess up. We can't afford and, it, pointing to your skin. Yeah. And that stuck with me. I never missed a flight again. Mm -hmm. um, the reason that stuck with me, because I feel like there's two types of people in this world, people that care and people that could care less. Mm -hmm. Why do you care so much about seeing other people That's what shine? I saw, man. That's what I saw growing up. That's what I saw with my mother. Everyone had a, a meal when they came to the crib. Everyone had a place to lay their head. Like, that's what I saw. And I'm so <sighs> about you. I just want to see the best in you. The saddest thing in this country is when we can see more in somebody than they see themselves, mm. than they see in themselves. And I want you to see every darn thing. Gail, you, you remind me of, 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 of chapter eight. Mm -hmm. Because you make sure the team is better with you on it. Yeah. Everything you've done, you always find a way to bring something to the table. Mm -hmm. You dedicate yourself to being the best at what you do. And the world is constantly changing, but be, you're open to new ideas and learning new skills. That's what has given you the level of consistency yeah, that you've shown us for decades. Consistency is important. But Dion, this is the thing that got me in the book because I didn't know this about your life. You write about never give up, always finish what you started. Mm -hmm. uh, there are no bad days. There are bad moments, but yet you write about a time where you got so low that you wanted to take your own life. Yes. That you drove off, you drove off a, a cliff. In Cincinnati, Ohio, after I was three for four in the baseball game. I didn't think and I, I had said, value. And I said, did you really want to take your own life? Yes, I did. And you said yes. Because I didn't feel like I had value. The only two things that I loved at that time was was, was my son and my daughter. Yeah. And I was going through a, a, a horrible a divorce. A messy divorce. And yes. I felt like they had been taken away from me. Mm. And that's the only thing that gave me my life. Mm -hmm. And, uh... And I wanted to take myself out, but I had no idea that God had all this on the other side. Because you survived. Oh my God, thank God I did. And yeah. I just surrendered. I went in that little, I had a little apartment in Cincinnati and I remember by myself saying, Lord, if that's you, take me. Mm -hmm. And that's when the transformation started to happen. 
Well, we're mm. so glad it did happen. Let's yes. help some people at home transform themselves because that's what this book is about, right? Yeah. One of the things you talk about is set, setting your mental thermostat first thing in the morning. Oh, first I thing like that too, Tony. I, I love the morning. I set my thermostat. I'm not going to give you the propensity to dictate my day. Nothing you say could get to me, to get me upset, to get me mad, to get me off my game. Nothing? Because I've all, nothing. nothing. Because I've already set my thermostat. Uh -huh. I'm 68 and cool. <laughs> okay? Uh -huh. Okay. And I, I have a game plan. And cool. And cool. And I have a game <laughs> plan for today, and I'm going to follow that game plan, and I'm going to be concise and precise with that game plan. So ain't nothing you could do. And we got to stop letting people, places, and things affect and infect us. Mm. And that's what we oftentimes do. This guy's infectious. Uh, I know. You're infectious. I mean, I can, you, you imagine him in a locker room? I can just see <laughs> the kid. I can see why kids go to the university. I, well, I, love, play I love my kids. I mean, not just the kids, my sons who play for me. I love all of them because I made a promise to their parents when they sat in front of me in Colorado. You may send me a boy, but you're going to get a man. Yeah, because you, you, you said you're raising CEOs. You're not raising CEOs. employees. You're raising leaders, not followers. Right. But your season didn't go, Dion, the way that you had hoped or, or planned. Right, in the initial year. In the initial year. <laughs> right. And people thought, because it started out very strong, and then mm -hmm. people say, oh, they got a little cocky. They got a little arrogant. No, we did. And now. We did. We just didn't have what we needed to mm -hmm. win. And Nate knows there's a transformation, there's a, a time mechanism that's going to take place. Mm -hmm. and Does Nate had, know that, Nate? I know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we had to go get. They were building. We had building. And we had to go get what we needed. And the, the young men out there watching us had to see a deficit so they could say, you know what, I could feel that void. Now, we went out and got every darn thing we needed. And I cannot wait to start this <laughs> Big 12. I cannot wait. I'm so excited about these young men that we have. Because what happens when you look good? You feel good. And when you feel good? You play good. And when you play good? Baby, they pay good. Hey! <laughs> he ain't lying. <laughs> he ain't lying. I love that. So why do you think I dress like this? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, Dion, we appreciate you. Thank you. And I want to say uh, thank you for everything you have done, not just for the game, but outside of the game. I you know, I love, love you, man. man. Love you too. I'm proud of you. Thank you. And that, that's just the pillar oh, of right. consistency. No, no, but I love the story that Nate told, that you thinking it's going to be, oh, this is going to be a great conversation. He goes, look, you screwed oh, up, basically. Hotel. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. you've never forgotten it. Never look at him. Look at him. So I, I'm, I'm teary-eyed every time I see him in the interview and doing Oh, yeah, thing. you're going to be a grandfather. No, don't tell me that. You are. <laughs> Guess what, Deandre's having a baby. I don't want to be a grandfather. I'm too young to <laughs> so be a grandfather. Call you Papa Prime. No, uh, no. Grandpa don't. Prime. Uh, we appreciate it, man. Elevate and Dominate is on sale now. Make sure you get that book <laughs> so you can elevate and dominate your life. Bye, we'll Papa, right Papa Prime. Grandpapa 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 Prime.